Welcome back at 640 yesterday. Caitlin Erla took us through where you can find the proper glasses to protect your eyes during April 8th's total solar eclipse. But if you still have some trouble finding them, you can always build your own viewing device at home. Caitlin and Christina show us how it's done. Hi, everybody. We know that that total solar eclipse is coming up. A lot yep. of people are very excited to go view the eclipse. And you might have had some trouble getting your hands on a pair of those eclipse glasses. Again, very dangerous to look at the eclipse. Right. So want to make sure you do that safely. And if you aren't able to get your hands on a pair of those glasses, we're going to teach you how to make your very own total eclipse viewer at home. <laughs> and you only need a few ingredients here. Caitlin's going to help walk me through it. I made one already. Yep. Caitlin's going to make the second one for us here. Now we'll go through all of the things that you need, pretty much just household items that you have already. But we'll start off with a cereal box. It does not have to be Trader Joe's, Crunchy Cinnamon Squares, or Honey and Cheerios. <laughs> it can be any type of cereal. You need a pair of scissors, some tape. Scotch tape is fine. Sheet of aluminum foil. You really just need a small piece. A safety pin or just any type of pin. We're gonna poke a very small hole into the foil later and a white piece of paper that we're gonna end up cutting into small strips. All right, so what we're gonna do first, so I'll put my Eclipse viewer down. We'll start off with the Cheerios box. Now okay. what we're gonna do first, you're gonna take your piece of paper, you're gonna wanna cut a strip out of your piece of white paper that is the same size as the bottom of the cereal box. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna open the box Okie dokie. And you're going to put this all the way on the bottom side. So it'll be on the bottom, but Lane on the flat, inside. On the bottom, gotcha. And you're going to tape it on there. This is going to be our projector screen so that we can actually see the eclipse without looking directly at it. All right, is that okay? Yeah, that's, it works. It works. <laughs> all right, now we need to make the hole that the sun will go through and then the hole that you're going to look through because okay. how else are you going to see it? So we got two holes on my box here. Like that? So we are going to cut off these two edges in the side of the box. So Caitlin, you can do that. We won't need those. Alrighty. And then we're gonna wanna cut two squares on either side. So you can cut a little bit into these two okay. here. And then we're gonna wanna secure it on the middle, in the middle between the two holes. All right, so now we have our two holes. Yay. Now the next step, we need to take a piece of aluminum foil. We want to completely cover the hole there. There you go. All right, now you can pick whichever side you'd like. I'll get you some pieces of tape there. We're all good. So we completely covered the one side Yay. with foil. Now the next step will be where we will need our- Poke a hole, right? Safety pin. Yeah, she's already ready. So what we're doing here, again, one of these holes is for your eye. You're going to look through one of them, right? right. Now the other hole is going to be where the sun shines through, so you can actually get a view of the eclipse. So take our safety pin. Be very careful. It is sharp. You want me to do it? Yeah, you can do it. And try to make it as small as possible. You want a very tiny hole. That's perfect. Perfect, yes. Yay. So then what you're going to do, right? right, during the actual eclipse, We'll pretend, we'll pretend you're the sun, Caitlin's the sun. So the one hole you get to look through and you, that, that aluminum foil side or your back is actually going to be faced towards the sun. So when you look through, the sun is going to shine through that very small pinhole in the foil. The foil helps block out too much of the right, sun. Right. And then you're actually going to be able to see the eclipse reflected on that projector screen, that paper. A white piece of paper. On the inside. Easy enough, like you said earlier, just things you probably have laying around your house already, cereal yeah. boxes, tape, scissors, probably some safety pins. So yeah, not so easy bad. enough. But yeah, so stay safe. Again, we talk about during a total solar eclipse, you don't want to be staring directly at the sun. So stay safe. Make sure you view it carefully, safely, right. and happy viewing.